Hi, I'm Brandy, Chief Clinical Research Officer and co-founder of Autentil, and today we're going to talk about alcohol, one of many people's favorite topics. Now we all know the negative effects that alcohol can have on the body in large quantities. However, do you know that even in moderation, alco alcohol can have some negative effects on the microbiome? Even in small amounts, alcohol can cause leaky gut. This is intestinal permeability, where the mucosal membrane is compromised, allowing toxins, bacteria, and other things that aren't supposed to go through to be able to penetrate through. It can also cause SIBO, or small intestine bacterial overgrowth. This bacterial overgrowth happens in the small intestine where bacteria shouldn't be allowed to cultivate. The bacteria should be in the colon where it belongs, but in the small intestine, it can cause a lot of issues, such as bloating, abdominal discomfort, diarrhea, constipation, and other gut issues. So these are two major things that even in small amounts, alcohol can do to your microbiome. So how do we limit the damage from alcohol? If you're gonna go out, you know you're just gonna have a couple drinks, you don't wanna quit drinking, but you still wanna go out and have some fun. What can you do to prevent this damage? Well, there's a couple things. First of all, you want to protect your intestinal barrier. You can do this through adding oats into your diet, zinc, or even L-glutamine. Foods that have those things in them will really help protect your intestinal barrier. Also, you want to add in antioxidants and polyphenols. These will help scavenge the free radicals that alcohol increases to protect your microbiome, to protect your body. Now, how can you do that? If you don't have time, you know you're going out tonight and you haven't been able to really eat well throughout the day, you can also just add in supplements such as Atrantil, which is high in antioxidants, high in polyphenols, and also helps with bacterial overgrowth. So supplements such as Atrantil, or even adjusting your diet, knowing that you're that type of person who might go out and have a few drinks here and there. So I hope you've learned a little bit today about alcohol's effect on the microbiome. If you'd like to learn more, click the link below or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.